so there's the planarian right there. This is his backseat. So you see those little two little dots? That, those are his eye spots. Stop lifting up your head. Okay, so those are the eye spots. So this side that we're looking at, his back side, is the dorsal side. His head end down here, towards the head, is the anterior side. Tail end is the posterior side. So his back side is the dorsal. So his underside is ventral. You kind of can see him twist. You can't really see, but this area right there. On his underside, if I get him to flip over, he has a tube called a pharynx coming out. You can look up a picture of it if you can. It's really hard to focus and try to get in the move at the same time with my pipette. So I cannot get in the, fl the flip and try to focus at the same time. Are we done with this? Uh, I'm not. Just observe how he moves. So the look at him. Right there, he's a larger one. This is before they're cut. So let's create a water current, observe his behavior. Oh, he went to the little corner. Just observe his behavior. Do you see, yeah, that little dark spot on his back. That's actually his underside, and that's where his pharynx, that tube with the mouth is for feeding. I just can't get in the flip over and get a, a good view. So look how he moves. They also don't like the light, so they like to go towards the edge of the Petri dish. Okay, so when they cut them, they use a, a, what's it called, a cover slit to cut him in half. They did two worms just in case one died. Um, so, okay guys, what was your observation for day zero after you cut it? What, what did you guys put? Okay, so the head was still moving around, but the tail was... The tail was wasn't moving. Um, what did you guys know is day one after um, after like you cut it? The head's growing, the tail is still immobile. So the head's still moving around, but the tail's still immobile and you didn't notice any new growth yet? No. Okay, so here is day, let me pull out one of the Petri dishes. Hopefully I don't spill and ruin theirs. We have one over here. You do? Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you guys what it looks like for day three for the people who are at home. So day three, we do have some new tissue growth. There is a hair in there. Yeah, there's like two. So new tissue growth will look very clear and transparent. Let me try to get it focused.
I'm trying to get it under here. Here, give me one second. I'll find it first. So here is the head end on day three. <coughs> Where do you go? stay here oh my gosh just keeps on moving every time I try the so the head is still moving you can see towards the back end I'm trying to get it focused and stop moving across the field of view. Oh, do you see that tube? That's his pharynx. So regenerated it. And if you could see the back end, you can see that it's starting to have a little bit of growth at the back end. Kind of hard again to stop scrunching up. So you can tell just a little bit that his tail is starting to regenerate. This is the tail end and it's not really moving. Here, let me get it focused first. Okay, you can see this is the tail end. It's not really moving. If I actually use the pipette, I could get the move. You can see on that top side, that little clear part is starting to regrow a new head, but it will take a little bit while. Let me see if I can get it to move. <coughs> see, it does move. Once I poked it, so it is alive, it, but it's taken a while to regenerate a head. Okay, so there's the the lab, so I'm gonna go back to the microscope slides. Okay, so here at slide one, we have the Bugastia genus. We're not for sure on what species of planaria it is, but it is a planaria, so you put planarian down. It is a flatworm, phylum platyhelminthes, and it's free, li free living, so that means it's not parasitic. I see it right there. So there's two things on the slide. So that's like the inside view. You can see the inside anatomy on that one. And there's just the outside anatomy on the planarian. Okay, slide two, microscope two. These are scrambled on your side in the table, so you have to figure out which one is which. Um, this is the dog 
Hookworm is an adult form. It's a roundworm, final nematoda, and is parasitic. And that's what it looks like. So that's a dog hookworm. Here at Mexico 3, we have a tapeworm, which is a flatworm, phylum platyhelminthes, and it's parasitic. And this is its head right here. You can see like the hooks and the suckers. Okay, microscope four. These are human hookworms, but these, this is their eggs. So similar to the dog hookworm, but this is the eggs. Roundworm, nematode, and parasitic. So that's what their eggs look like. Okay, microscope five. This is the trichina or the pork worm. And this is, th this slide has muscle tissue and these will form like encapsulated cysts with a larva in the muscle tissue of animals. And it's a roundworm, nematode, parasitic. And like I said, this is a slide of, here. muscle tissue. And you can see those circle that's the larva that are inside of encapsulated cyst. Microscope six. These are alive. These are called vinegar eels, but they're not actual eels. They are roundworms, nematodes. They're free living and not parasitic. So these ones are actually alive. So microscope seven, this is the human pinworm. It looks a lot like the schistosome one. So this is in the right hand side. The, so the picture's on the right hand side and it's the second one. Sorry, it's on the left hand side and it's the second one down from the top. And this is a roundworm, a nematode, and it's parasitic. I was trying to move the slide so you can see the rest of the body, but I can't get the focus and move at the same time. Okay, so this one, microscope eight, is a sheep liver fluke. It's a flatworm, potty helminthes, and parasitic. And you can see how large it is. You can actually see it just completely, like right here. And I can't even see all of it on the microscope. You can see like the end, the mouth part right there. Okay, so slide microscope nine. This is the Ascaris lumbricoides. This is the large intestinal roundworm. This is a cross section, so we're looking through the body, and there's like two of them on there. There's a male and a female. It's a roundworm, nematode, nematoda, and it's parasitic. So it's not the whole worm. So these are cross sections of the worm. And slide 10, microscope 10. This is the schistosome or the blood fluke that you saw on the Monster Society episode. This one is on the right hand side, the pictures on the right hand side, and it's the fourth one down. It is a flatworm, platyhelminthes, and parasitic. And so normally it has that, that tube coming out and it's kind of like wrapped up inside of itself right now, so it's kind of hard to see. And so that's the schistosome or the blood fluke. If you look over here, this is what that ascaris looks like, that large intestinal roundworm, where you can only see the cross section is just so large. These ones are so large that you want to be able to put it on a slide. And this is what the tapeworms look like. Oh my God. This is the dog tapeworm. <laughs> Human tapeworm. And 
the cat tapeworm. No. And here we have dog heartworms, dog heart with heartworms. These ones are really gross. They're, these are those sheep liver flukes that you just saw that pink one is dyed. <laughs> okay, so that's all of the lab. Part A and Part B, you will need to answer the questions for Part A. Um, and you can do Part B because I just showed you the slides. And this is date, I showed you, they gave you the observation notes for day zero, one, and showed you day three, which is today. And then Monday we will do day five and we will probably go all the way to like day 11. So I'll give you the updates on the observations in a different video. If you have any questions, let me know.